The flickering embers in the tavern's hearth mirrored the tension that hung between the travelers and Olgoth, their carriage driver, as he brought his tale to a close. That was many years ago. He said, his voice low and resonant. And now the boy is an adult. Mortimer leaned forward, a mix of curiosity and unease coiling within him. What became of the boy? He asked, the weight of the narrative pulling at his heart. He travels these very roads, a vagabond, shifting from one town to another, ever seeking solace upon these long, winding paths. Olgoth's expression, illuminated by the dancing firelight, revealed his true nature, both captivating and unsettling. The boy became a man, a creature of gray metallic skin, adorned with the demonic wings of a bat and burning gems for eyes, aglow with the light of stories to be told. A lump rose in Mortimer's throat, an unsettling realization prickling at his mind. Why? That description sounds a lot like... like you. The carriage driver's smile widened, unveiling the darkness that lingered behind it. Indeed. The boy I was, Aiden, became the man I am, Olgoth, who now sits before you. I once sought to cloak these lands further in shadow, to extinguish the sun itself completely, dreaming of a dark utopia for outcasts like me. His eyes flickered with a memory steeped in regret. In later years, however, I strive for the return of the sun's vibrant energies, hoping to redeem the actions of my youth. You're delusional or mad. Or I'm both. Olgoth replied, unabashed, chuckling softly at the absurdity of existence. I was an outcast, you see, and in my own twisted way, I wished to create a sanctuary for those who wandered away from the light. Blotting out the sun felt like the only path forward in a world that ridiculed our kind. But why tell us this madness? The cleric asked, frustration seeping into his tone. Is this some sort of moral rationalization for your past behavior? Merely a confession of past behavior. Olgath said, his demeanor shifting, deepening as he spoke. I ferry souls through these dim lands as penance for the dark choices I've made. I must share my burden with every traveler, every soul I guide. We will traverse together, a band of unmerry men, navigating the twisting paths leading to her. He gestured, as if beckoning the very essence of the night. She is waiting. She is always waiting. A shiver raced through Mortimer. How far must we travel? From Lashholm to the lost libraries of the ancients. Olgoth intoned, his eyes shining with the fervor of the tale. Then on through the vast desert wastes of ancient ruins, where the gods once played at war like children. Our journey takes us through ice lands and long-forgotten times, past surreal cities alive with lights and horseless carriages. We, too, shall be transformed in such a place. But we must persevere, keep our minds and wits about us if we are to arrive at her domain. Her domain, where I was promised I would be safe. Mortimer murmured, wrestling with swirling fears. As a consort to Tyavriz, yes. Olgath replied, his tone grave and foreboding. But mark my words, friend. The safety and utopia you seek might very well be your own undoing. An ominous silence enveloped them, threads of fate weaving themselves tighter around the group. The tavern, once a cozy refuge, now felt like the bowels of some ancient creature harboring secrets too dark to comprehend. Mortimer exchanged glances with the cleric and the hunter, their fates intertwined in this tapestry of choices and consequences. With a silent pact formed in the flicker of candlelight, they braced themselves for the journey ahead, ready to confront the mysteries that would harbor them, challenge them, and perhaps even transform them forever in the shadow of legends yet to unfold.